fact, a CBS2 original report. It's called Public Shaming, and it's the online way to get even. Mad at someone? Now you can find a website to complain about them. But be careful. The consequences could be devastating. As CBS2's Marissa Bailey reports, think twice before you post. Her last name is Grubman, G-R-U-B-M-A-N. Got a home wrecker in your life? We're going to call her Grabman. Now you can go online and get back at them. He just leaves it on the counter for me to put up or something. Boyfriend being lazy? Why confront him? Just post your complaint. When you shame someone publicly, you create a narrative about that person that has only one side to it. Hate your neighbor's Christmas decorations? Again, just post your complaint. Object to overweight people? Well, there are sites where you can tell them. There are even sites calling out guys who take up too much space on public transit. Virtual shaming is real and it can happen to anyone. Sometimes victims know about it and sometimes they don't. Carrie Goldman is the author of a book about bullying. Would you say that public shaming comes from a place of immaturity? I think that it is immature, but I think it comes more from a place of insecurity. We have this unpleasant human instinct to try and hurt when we're mad. Michael, clean up after yourself. I'm serious. Highlighting someone's fault or perceived bad behavior online may feel good initially for the shamer, but as public relations expert Erica Kaufman says, the result could be devastating. They're going to ruin people's careers. They're going to ruin people's lives. And it could be everlasting on the web. Is your three, four days of increased social media activity and new Twitter followers worth 10 years to somebody or more of their life? And what if you're not the shamer or the victim, but the person who just watches the videos and maybe likes the shaming pictures? Goldman says you could be just as culpable. If you click like, if you retweet, if you share, if you comment, you are now adding to that storm of frenzy around it. Marissa Bailey, CBS2 News. So could publicly shaming someone get you sued? Maybe. If you're just scolding someone for rude behavior, probably not. But accusing someone of something illegal is another story, and all of it is pretty passive aggressive. Well, it is, and it's also very scary because you, if you do this, you don't know what the reaction is going to be or what the next two or three things down the line will right. be. Right. You don't Can't control be that. Yeah.